Hello again, truckers! By now, a lot of you know where tray terminals are located at stations and outposts. But some of you don't. And that's okay. Because this one goes out to the newbies. The new truckers out there are still learning the ropes and figuring out where they need to go to buy and sell stuff. So for this video, we're going to focus on locations around Crusader. Now, I can probably save you most of this video by telling you to look for the building with the orange blinking antenna attached to the side. Every outpost will have some variation of this. However, if you want to see how to get to each one, stick around. Or scroll down to find the timestamp for the particular location you're looking for. I'm also happy to announce that Delta Consulting have given me permission to show off their amazing cartography skills, which have helped me tremendously. You'll also find a link to their work down below. Port Alisar is an easy one, as the trade terminal is built into the corner of every admin desk. You'll find the terminal for mining is next to it, built directly into the wall. As a warning, know that a lot of people like to hang around Alisar and enjoy making your life a little harder. Stay inside Armistice when jumping and be on the lookout for people trying to sneak into your ship. Alisar sells agricultural supplies, medical supplies, and waste. Galette Family Farms is a small location with no landing pad, so you'll be touching down rough. Also keep in mind that there is no armistice zone, so check for lurkers and clear the inside of the single building before making any transactions. You'll find distilled spirits, processed food, revenant tree pollen, and waste for sale. One of two high volume producers of medical supplies, this outpost is protected by an armistice zone and sees frequent traffic. The admin building is a bit of a walk from either landing pad. Hicks sells agricultural supplies, medical supplies, stems, and waste. Terra Mills features a single landing pad, 
so land close to the edge if you want to be courteous to incoming traffic. The admin building is the furthest one out, as you'll pass between the other two to get to it. An armistice zone makes this an attractive alternative to Galad Family Farms, but only if you're picking up distilled spirits or waste, as those are the only two commodities they produce. No armistice zone and no landing pad makes Tram and Myers a rough little spot. Coupled with being the only location that produces diamond, laronite, and titanium in Crusader, it's advised to bring backup if you're going in. As always, keep an eye on the sky and clear the building before making any transactions. Tram and Myers produces aluminum, corundum, diamond, laronite, titanium, and waste. Arcorp 141 is one of the most visited locations on Daymar. A single pad means you'll find yourself waiting to land if there's traffic. The admin building is next to the pad, which means quick access. You'll find a Grecium, Barrel, Corundum, Quartz, Tungsten, and Waste. Bountiful Harvest is a farm with no armistice zone and no landing pad, although the flatter terrain is kinder to larger vessels. Once again, keep an eye on the sky and clear the building before making any transactions. Here you'll find processed food, revenant tree pollen, and waste.
Crudre Ore is the dangerous alternative to R Corp 141. Not only do we not have an armistice zone or landing pad, but the terrain itself is fickle for landing, so good luck. Coupled with Agrisium being sold at this location, it's worth it to bring a buddy to check for hostiles before buying. You'll find Agrisium, Barrel, Gold, Quartz, Tungsten, and Waste. Shubin Mining Facility SCD-1 features two landing pads, with the admin building being situated directly in front of the smaller pad. This location is a quick in and out, and once inside you'll find barrel, corundum, gold, quartz, tungsten, and waste. Arcorp Mining 157 mimics its cousin on Daymar, as we have a single large pad. The admin building is next to the pad on the outskirts of the outpost, making it quick to get in and out of. This location sells astatine, chlorine, fluorine, hydrogen, iodine, and waste. Vincent Mining drops the trifecta of hazards on us once again, with no armistice zone, no pads, and tricky terrain. It also sees a lot of traffic, being one of two locations in Crusader that produce astatine. Check the interior before making any purchase, and consider having an escort. Inside you'll find astatine, chlorine, fluorine, hydrogen, iodine, and waste.
Deacon's Research is the second high volume producer of medical supplies. Similar to Hicks, you'll find the admin building has you crossing a majority of the outpost to access. This location also sees a lot of traffic and due to its high tier commodity, may be worth bringing an escort for. In fact, maybe you should just bring an escort wherever you go. You'll find they sell agricultural supplies, medical supplies, stems, and waste. A hive of scum and villainy, you're more likely to have issues leaving than you will entering. Hold on, these are my notes for Port Olisar. <clears throat> anyway, Grimhex does attract a few undesirables, so it's best to hug the small armistice zone on your way out. On your way in, you'll find yourself taking the elevator down. Once you do, make a small left and take the first hallway on your right, which is to the right of a green Crawshaw Jumper's poster. There you'll find both trade and mining terminals. Grimhex sells scrap, and waste. And that's it for now. I plan to make similar videos for Arcorp and Hurston. If there's one you'd like to see first, let me know. Until then, keep on trucking. <laughs>